Yo, what's going on guys? Another week done. That was last week of this block, so this, that makes this prep diaries number four. So now 13 weeks out from comp with a deload week coming up. So looking forward to that. My body's feeling pretty cooked after this week, but it was a good week of training. So what did I do? So started my week with my deadlifts. I hit a 200 kilo triple on deads, which isn't a PB or anything like that, but it felt pretty good, pretty clean. Then had my Larson day, which I hit triples at 127 and a half, so that's big PB. It was good, felt good. And then 200 kilo high bar triples on squats, which were hard, but still, it's big PB on high bar, so it's good. And then finally this morning, I did 127 and a half kilo close grip bench for fours, yeah. It was pretty hard, but I think my body's pretty cooked after all the RP9 accessories this week. Thanks, Wes. But um, now that looking back after doing this week, and like I think the biggest takeaway for me was on my RP9 accessories. If I was to look at them and what reps I did at what weight, I've probably been undershooting some of my RP8s, in particular on my my leg press and my lat pull down. I noticed that. Um, sort of the, with the weight I had on and the reps I was doing for RP9, probably my RP8 like the week before that went RP8. And look, there's other stuff that come factors into it. Like every day is different when you go into train. So, but I think my takeaway is to still just train my accessories a little bit harder coming into these this prep block after this deload. So that's a good little takeaway from that. And you might notice that in your training as well. It's good when you get to like RP9, because it's so close to failure, you can see if you've either been A, overshooting your accessories or B, undershooting, which both are not good either way, but just allows you to see, I guess, what you're doing. New addition to this week, the sender of the week. This one was a, a no-brainer for me. They channeled the sender dog pretty well, and the sender of this week is Brooke Vick with her 190 kilo sleeve squat single. I'll try and pop up the video on here, but if I can't, I will put Brooke's Instagram on here and you can go to her profile and see that 190 kilo sleeve squat sent the dog. So well done, Brooke. So I guess now coming out of this block, deload next week. So I probably won't do a prep diaries video next week just because it's deload. So it's not going to be anything interesting to talk about in a way. And then straight into comp prep. So back to sumo deadlift back to comp bench and back to low bar squat thank god excited it's gonna be good excited to see how the past couple of blocks translate into my competition lifts i hope everything should skyrocket hopefully and the 700 kilo total will not be an issue at state so all right i'll uh, jump into this little montage and see you on the tripod
And as always, if you like the videos, subscribe, like, comment what you want to see, and I'll see you guys in a couple weeks.